When I stopped drinking, my husband was like, look, this is your thing. This has nothing to do with me. I hope you never pressure me into stopping because I'm never going to stop. And the reality is that was something I had to navigate. But it was something that was such a gift. I think of it kind of like walking up a hill with an empty backpack or with a backpack full of rocks. Because he wanted to keep drinking, my backpack was full of rocks. It meant that at social situations, I was always the sober driver and I had to drive him home drunk. It meant that all of the time I would be triggered at home because he was drinking drinking and I wasn't. But it also meant that I had to choose myself and I had to choose what I wanted no matter what he was doing. It meant that I had to get really clear on my own values. And that was such a gift because the thing about walking up a hill with a backpack full of rocks is it ultimately makes you stronger. And for that, I'm actually super grateful. Ironically, once I wrote This Naked Mind and he had to read it because I talk about our sex life in there, he stopped drinking and it wasn't even on purpose. He just looked back at his life and he's like, you know what? I don't even know the last time I've had a drink. It's a funny thing about This Naked Mind. A lot of people actually stop drinking on accident because of the rewiring that happens in your brain. And so while I'm super thankful for him not drinking, I'm also grateful that he was drinking in the beginning because it gave me such a gift.